Hello everybody, it's Lynn. How are you all doing today? I hope you're doing well. It's a beautiful day here today. It's sunny. It feels like summer is here, which is why I'm filming in this spot, even though you can see all my mess behind me, but the the light is just gorgeous here. I can look at the blue sky and it's just gorgeous. So, need I say anything else? The only thing is that you may hear some clinking noises is because I live in an area with a lot of cafes and restaurants, so everybody's outside right now having their meal. There's also some, um, how do you call them? I think it's called bus busking? Like the people who play like instruments in the street, that's gonna probably interrupt me a few times during this video, but you won't notice because I'll edit it out. Anyway, today I want to talk about my modeling experience here in Brussels and take you through some old photos that I've taken along the way. It might seem that I'm doing this because I'm out of video ideas, but it's fine. It's fine. I have ideas. I, I have loads of ideas. I just need to get my shit together and yeah. <laughs> So, modeling. I've actually wanted to model um, since I was at least 13 or 14. I think I remember as early as that age wanting to model. Um, but if you think that I'm quiet and shy now, you should have seen me back then because I was, yeah, I was so much worse. And it didn't matter how much I wanted it, I just was content with daydreaming about the fashion world and watching Project Runway and then a little later America's Next Top Model but I never had like the guts to get out there and really really try I wanted it but I was in my own world I, I couldn't break through I couldn't get out of my my little shell and also um, sure I was tall and slender but I didn't really feel pretty or beautiful I felt like just another gangly, long-limbed teenager at the time. What really made me want to go pursue my dream was when, <laughs> believe it or not, during a family portrait photo shoot. Uh, I don't remember exactly on for which occasion it was. I think it was my grandparents' anniversary, so we were had all the family together and we were doing like uh, group photos and like solo photos and I realized that I really loved being in front of a spotlight and the photographer was like, hey, maybe you should try modeling. You look like you're having fun there. Yeah, so this is my very first professional non-school photo, though it kind of looks like I'm posing for a school photo photo, as you can see here. Um, yeah, that was about uh, eight years ago, I think. I was around 17 or 18. I was in my pencil eyebrow phase. Yeah. <laughs> so young and innocent. <laughs> After that, I don't remember in which precise order the next events took place, but I remember sending those photos into agencies to try and get into them, but I never got a response. Uh, I remember entering a modeling competition at one point, though I think that may have been later. But I entered, a, but I did enter a random modeling competition. I don't know how I did it. Uh, being as shy as I was, I was just like, you know what, there's a competition in the city, I'm going to drive there and enter because it was an open casting thing. And I got through to the second round before being disqualified, but I got through the second round. Um, I was really starting to be invested in the whole modeling thing. So at one point, I called one of my photographer friends who was just starting photography at that point to get some more photos and try sending them in again, to agencies. And I really love those photos. When I look at them now, it makes me want to dye my hair back to brown and maybe get bangs again. Ah, uh, again, my eyebrows. <laughs> and that uh, under eye eyeliner thing. I, I did that for a long time before just focusing on the, 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 the top. Mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs> so at last, the agencies were responding to me with a big no. All of them refused. Not only uh, ones in Brussels, I also applied outside of Brussels, like Antwerp. And I think the one in Antwerp actually told me I needed to lose weight. Which me, uh, for my young brain at the time, I was like, 
what but i'm thin i'm like the thinnest of all my friends but yeah not thin enough for the fashion industry apparently for them anyhow the only reason that i managed to get into an agency the agency that i'm still at now is through a friend of a friend who got a number for me to call which i did and i got a casting slash interview and i got in as a um people model so not even Ex a model exactly but I got in as a uh, people model which is more like uh, commercials and you don't necessarily need to have the model look which may be a little unflattering but at the time I was just happy to get into an agency I was also booked as a hand model so I did both the only thing though is that even though I'm still at that agency to this day they never call me I never get booked I think I worked with, with them uh, for one job and the thing is with agencies which I did not know at the time wish I knew that is that if they don't call you you have to call them and be like hey I'm available do you have a casting or a go see I can go to and I just basically waited for the phone to ring until I faded into the background and got forgotten but that doesn't mean that I didn't find work for myself because at that time all I wanted to do was model money sure that would have been great but I wanted the modeling experience so I went to find my own jobs it was more collaborations I found photographers who wanted to collaborate with a model without paying them for their own personal projects um, professional photographers beginner photographers uh, schools for fashion designers schools for makeup artists what else did I do? Um, events who needed uh, free models, basically. Let's just put it that way. And I got to experience modeling. Yes, on a smaller scale, but I got to do photo shoots, I got to do runway, I got to do events, um, I got a full face of makeup. It was really fun and I really enjoyed it. After a while though, it kind of lost its shine. It became a little repetitive. And with my day job, I just kind of let it fade out. My name didn't get passed around as often because that's how it worked at the time. My name got passed around, somebody called me for a job, said they didn't have money, but they would be happy to have me and I was like, yeah, sure, I want to do it. After a while, it kind of stopped and I let it stop. I didn't call people up anymore and that's kind of how it stopped. I remember precisely my last runway where I thought, you know what, I think I've had enough. I was wearing a head to toe suit like stuck to my like a second skin and I was sweating buckets I could feel it trickling and I, I couldn't move I had to wait you have to wait a long time when so you're fitted until you have to walk and I was just I was over it I have to be honest I was just so over it <laughs> and I thought you know what I think I'm done for a while and I'm pretty sure that was my last runway I think that was it for a long time until recently where my name suddenly popped up again and I got called for an event and I was like you know what I've modeled for ages let's do it and I have been considering taking it back up on one hand I'm totally into it on the other I am like 27 years old how far can I go do I want to invest my time and my money into this I don't know, I think I'm having an existential crisis these days about just everything in my life. Totally unrelated with this video, got sidetracked there, but even if modeling stops here, I am happy to have had the experience, even at a smaller scale. I got to do it. This shy girl from the countryside got to model in the capital and I'm really happy and I'm proud of myself and if it does go further from here on out why not and if it stops here I still have all these photos I just want to share a few with you a few highlights so we went through my very first and then the photo shoot with my friend this one is a, a romantic photo shoot with a professional photographer oh by the way I forgot to mention if you want the names of the photographers and the like designers makeup artists all that I have an old online portfolio I'll link it down there where you can have all the names of the photographers and etc etc but if I have to do it here it will just take so long so romantic photo shoots um, I actually remember that the night before this photo shoot I got into this huge argument with my ex-boyfriend and I remember crying so much 
And I, you can see it in my face that I look exhausted. I barely slept, which is probably the worst thing you can do before a photo shoot. I, my eyes are a little puffy and yeah, but luckily these photos were amazing. I had a great time. It was a photographer and her uh, friend who, was, who did the hair and makeup. And both of them were lovely ladies. So it was really fun to do. It was one of my real first experiences. Uh, this photo makes me want to have bangs again so badly, but it's so hard to keep, especially straight ones like that. Um, yeah, that was also a... I don't know if it was a professional or a hobbyist, I don't remember. That was also from... Um, how do you call it? Mouth to ear? Ear to mouth? Like, my name got passed again, so... Photographer called me for this uh, for a session. Oh, uh, yeah, when I went blonde completely blonde and it was just like this Awful yellow like pea colored yellow. It was my first time trying to bleach my hair And this is what happened. I also had a side shave if I can remember if I remember properly and those two photos are two makeup students and the photo where I look like I have a short hair The photographer was like you should you should cut your hair like Twiggy it would really suit you. I haven't done it yet, but maybe when I'm older, I'll have shorter hair. Though it will make me look much older, I think, if I do. I, I like my I like my long hair. This is my first big runway event. It took. It was I think over three days, like Friday, Saturday, Sunday, if I remember correctly, or maybe Sun, or maybe Friday was rehearsals, and it was only. Saturday, Sunday, I remember it feeling very long and wearing a lot of clothes and meeting a lot of people and also waiting a lot. That was one of the big thing, things, waiting around a lot all day. Because you had to arrive there like at 7 a.m. or something and the show wasn't until nighttime, like in the evening. So that was very long. And my very first outfit was this one with the glasses. The hair at the top is not my own hair, by the way. It's fake. I think I was opening for a designer and maybe it was the first designer of the evening. I don't know, but I remember um, the people, like, I remember the designer and the coach being like, you're first, you have to own it, you go out there and march and you just, you know, <laughs> like really talking me up. So yeah, that was my very first outfit and actually I'm wearing it back to front, but <laughs> I had to wear it twice, the second time it was on the right way or maybe the first time it was on the right way and the second time it was on the wrong way, I don't remember <laughs> It was too late for it for me to change anyway so I had to put my hands on my hips to, sh to hide the seams Yeah, fun memories Wow, the, the makeup was really heavy I think heavy makeup kind of makes me look a little drag-ish This outfit, I was terrorized to wear it uh, the first thing that designer said to me was like, I hope you're okay with nudity and I was like, yeah, sure, but what do you mean? Yeah, my, my boobs were out. I, you can't see it here, obviously, but it was just like open around the boobs and I was, I was fine with it, but on the other hand, looking up back at it now, I'm like, did I really do that? Did I really walk around parading around with my boobs out? I mean, the outfit is really cool, not gonna lie, but my, my boobs are out. The world to see. <laughs> Here's another dress I wore. You can see how the hairstyle changes. It starts out pretty flat and then turns kind of, and kind of transforms into a cone and starts getting a little like fluffy <laughs> throughout the weekend. Another runway event that I did, my hair was back to brown. Um, yeah. One of the things that you don't know is that often the dresses that I wore during the runway uh, weren't completely finished so quite often I was literally either sewed into the dress or pinned into the dress and I remember for that dress the cuffs were pinned but they kept like digging into my wrists <laughs> You just have to own it and pretend nothing is wrong uh, this one was so much fun just because of the whole cookie monster eyebrow thing Those clothes are actually I think it was an event called second hand second life where you just get all fab old fabrics Old clothes and you like you make a charity fashion show from it. So it was really cool And uh, yeah, I really liked my outfit. I don't remember what it was made up out of it was a little itchy But yeah, turned out cool. I like that that one 
after that i think i did a, a few more collaboration photos and then a few more runways but they started getting a really weird like this one <laughs> Yeah, I think that was the weirdest one I did. I yeah, I was not happy about that pink um, thing on my mouth. It was like face dyed face cream, and just before you walk out, they were just like blah, blah, blah. it just felt disgusting. I think it's just because I have emetophobia, and it just felt wrong on my face. Um, but that may have been one. The one before last where I was like, I'm kind of over it. Also halfway through that walk, I had to release one of my, um, this, how do you call that? It's not a belt, but you know what I mean. I had to release one of the sides and walk with one boob hanging out. Again, why me? I'm not that confident about my boobs either, so why? <laughs> it's so fun looking back at them now. I know it's not for a major campaign or a major brand but it's an experience and I had fun anyway guys um, I hope this video may inspire some of you who are hesitant to get into modeling think they're not good enough think maybe the fashion industry might gobble them up if they go like all in you can start like me like doing small things like test out the water see if you like it and you're definitely not obligated to go all the way if you want to model for yourself you can take photos of yourself and maybe that is enough for you anyway i'm rambling again but yes that was my modeling experience if you have any more questions i'd be happy to answer them and uh, as always don't forget to give this video a like if you enjoyed it subscribe if you haven't already if you have any suggestions for <laughs> video ideas what the f and i'll see you very soon in another video i l word y'all